Hi guys, we're back at Smash Fishing. We got a fancy new rake and a push net, and we're gonna go forage the shore. So stay tuned, it's Smash Fishing, baby. Woo! First of all, we've just come down to a cockle bed. You get some really nice ones around here, and I've got a fancy new rake. I had to buy one, cost me 27 quid just for a rake. So on the on the previous foraging tides, I lost my little rake. So I've, I've upgraded, we got a nice big one. It'll save my back. We're in a nice sandy beach here, quite high up the beach. And this is where we know there's some decent cockles. Let's get to it. Look at that. First scrape. Haha, <laughs> one down. I'm not used to cockling with a rake this big. It feels strange. I'm literally just raking around. I'm gonna do a nice big area. I can cover some, some quite a lot of ground with this. And hopefully we can build up a nice bucket full. Lovely big one there, look at that. That's the ones you want. Ah, that's the stamp. Beautiful sized cockles. Starting to build up a nice little collection here now. Good little handful there, decent sized cockles as well. I'll be giving them a good rinse off after. What a beast, I'm gonna rake around a little bit more. Then we'll go push netting for a little bit, see what we can find. I must admit, that rake's harder work than what my little one was. It digs into the sand a lot, so it's hard to see them as well. Where the little one, I could rake the surface and it would uh, uncover them a lot easier. But we're still true. Got a few cockles, just need a few more. Oh, that one's look, that's a bit small, those ones. Throw those back. Any, any under sort of this size, I always put back saves it for the future generations you always find with this you'll find a little spot with really big ones and then another with just all small it's quite interesting like how they they seem to grow in little spots of the same size you know but yeah a lovely sized cockles in this little spot right this beach hasn't got a ton of cockles in so it's got enough for you to get a little feed and that's all I want really. Uh, 
some of those are bruises. Beast of a cockle. No, not my lid. <laughs> my lid's going walkies. We're gonna ditch the rake for a minute, guys. Got a good amount of uh, decent cockles there. Some really big ones. That's the ones you want. What we'll do is we'll move over to the pool now with the uh, push net and see what we can find there. I've always wanted to put a push net through this pool because I've seen a lot of uh, small flat fish and stuff like that. And we might be able to uh, catch one. There we go, guys. We're at the pool now. It's not very deep, but in the past, I have found some uh, some cool stuff in here and I've never been able to net it. So all I'm doing is just running along with the push net and hoping that we can uh, lift up a flat fish or, or any sort of fish for that matter. See what we can find. Got a couple of little sand crabs in here. Those tiny little things. <laughs> There's loads of tiny baby cockles. Look at that. It's our future generation right there. No flatfish yet. Oh no, there's one. Look how small that one is. Wow. That is miniature, that is. What is it though? That is the question. That looks like a little baby sole to me. If you can see that, guys. Tiny little flatfish. Absolutely minuscule. That looks like a sole from the, uh, the sort of foot shape to it. Let's get her back. There we go. Look at it. it buries straight into the sand. You'll never see it. Round two. Let's go. I'm going a bit deeper this time. De -de 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 -de. I used to do this as a kid. <laughs> Brings me back to my younger days. Alright, what are we kicking in there today? Have we got anything cool in there? We do. We've got a bunch of little flatfish. Look at those. Loads of baby ones. That looks, yeah, they must be sold. There's another one there, look. Oh, this one's more of a diamond shape. Look at that. I know they're very hard to identify. Look at those, those are either little place or sole. There's about four or five of them in here. Look how cute they are. <laughs> Where's the other one? There's one there, look. Little baby things. Look at that, absolutely tiny little things. Really interesting. I think we've got a bigger one than this one. <laughs> oh, I'm loving this. You just never know what you're gonna get in these. Right, what we got in here? I'm pretty sure I've seen a bigger fish here. There we go. That one's a little bit bigger. Tiny little thing. Almost looks like a brill. And there's this little baby sister right there. Look at that. Tiny little flatfish. Some little sand gobies. It's interesting to see all the little flatfish though. It's funny because when we fish off this beach, we don't catch a huge amount of them. Look at that, they are absolutely tiny. You can see all of the organs inside them as well. All right, I won't keep them out for too long. I wanna find a bigger one. Oh, well, there's another one. See, that looks more like a diamond shape. That one almost looks like a turbot or a flounder. If you guys know any of these for certain, leave it in the comments. I'll be interested to know. Hopefully I don't get a weaver fish and get stung in the finger. What's in here? Just a bunch of really small ones. Hundreds of sand gobies. It's just hundreds of these. Tiny little flatfish. And then we got little sand gobies there. I keep getting hundreds of these in the net. Look at that. There's so many baby flatfish around. So cool to see. They all look like the same really. That one looks more like a sole to me, and that one looks like a little flounder or a place, maybe. Awesome. 
There we go, little buddies. See you later. Oh, had enough of that push netting. It's more harder work than what the raking is. <laughs> so all I'm doing now, I'm just going to uh, go through, try and find some more cockles. Look at that. That's the biggest one of the day right there. That's a monster. I'm going to get some more cockles and then we'll, uh, we'll head home for a nice cook up. I'm going to purge these overnight first, as always, to get any, uh, any rubbish out of them, really. Oh, find a little honey hole here, find loads of them. The good thing about raking for cockles is they're only about an inch or two under the sand. So you could rake a big area and then by the time the tide comes in and back out again, you would never know you'd be here. It's not very destructive. All the worms and different clam species that are deeper don't get affected by it. So it's a great way to uh, get a feed out of it, you know? Happy days. There you go guys, we got enough cockles now for a feed, you can see it's a good amount in there, there's some really massive ones as well, they make these ones look small. <laughs> Just there mooching along with the net, found a nice size cockle, that's going straight in the bucket. Just mooching around to see if I can get a sole or something different, we shall see, oh look. Just as I'm sitting here, I find a little flatfish, just laying on the sand. <laughs> Such cool little creatures. This looks identical to a sole. That's got to be a sole. It's not di diamond shaped like the other ones. Where the plates are usually more diamond shaped. Look at that. See, that looks like a sole to me. Right. What else we got in here? I know there's a few goodies. Oh, look at that, a little tiny one. <laughs> there's just loads of baby flatfish. But no real big ones. Usually you can find like a half decent sole around here in these pools. Look at that. Just tons and tons of little flatfish. All I'm doing now guys, I'm just gonna wash out all of the sand if I can. Obviously I'll do it when I've got a camera in my hand, but just giving you an example. It's literally just, just siphon out all of that, all of that grit until it's pure, just pure, just cockles. And then what you can do is purge them in this water or you can take the cockles home and then put fresh water in there with some salt and you can purge them that way or even some oatmeal that works as well so this is just my preferred way of doing it really so there you go guys that's how you want it looking completely fresh no grit in that water and i will show you it tomorrow morning when they purged out you'll see how much like crud comes out of them <laughs> back home we go back in the kitchen now guys you can see how much dirt these things have purged out that's why it's always best to purge them for overnight or even a bit longer if you wanted to you can see how much rubbish is in there so i'm going to do now is straighten these out give them a good wash get any sort of uh small anemones or anything off and you can just pop them off like that and then they're good to eat All I'm doing for this, I'm literally just gonna smash a piece of garlic up, get that peeled and chopped. And 
And what I've got here is a nice little shallot that I'm gonna just finely dice it. And this will add a little bit of flavor to the dish. Yum. These are pretty much just a small onion, but they give a great flavor to cockles or any sort of seafood. So we got our shallot all nicely chopped up now. And what I'm gonna do is just cut a big old chunk of Guernsey butter. And that is pretty much how we're gonna cook it. So all we're gonna do for this, just chuck our butter in. We're gonna let that melt down a bit. And then we'll put all of our shallots and our garlic in there and let that sweat down and get all those flavors out. So all we're going to do now is just sweat all this down so all of the uh, all of the flavours start coming out. Got a nice bit of smoked paprika there. Get a good dose of that in there, giving a little bit of spice. This is sweat down nicely now. All of the shallots gone nice and soft. That's exactly what you want. You can smell the garlic coming through. And all I'm gonna do is add half a pint of water in there, or maybe just a little less. And what this does is just create a nice bit of steam for all the cockles to lay in. And this will be absolutely delicious. These clams are nearly cooked now, so what I've got is another big chunk of butter. What I'm going to do is melt that down into it, creating like a little sauce, nice and buttery. And you've got all those delicious flavours in there. Yum! This is looking absolutely delicious. Can't wait to get tucked into this. All we need now is another bowl just to uh, put the different shells in. And you can see how big and chunky these, these cockles were. Beautiful. This is smelling absolutely amazing. Really been like craving a little bit of a uh, little bit of cockles. Oh, delicious. Another way to eat them. Let's just get a bit of that juice in the bottom shell there. Ooh, that's absolutely amazing. You always get that little smoky flavour from the smoked paprika. Always goes well with seafood. Mm. And that's what they look like inside the shell, guys. You get quite a lot of meat inside these the half decent ones. Anything over an inch, you know. That's a decent size to take home. Anything smaller is not really worth it. Mm. Oh, that's good. I reckon a little little splash of white wine would have went well with this. But it still tastes amazing nonetheless. Loads of butter in there. I even prefer it without the bread. Oh. Try and find one of these giant ones. There we go, look. We've got two inside of there. Ooh. It's like a seafood mukbang. <laughs> There's not one bit of grit in these whatsoever. I left them for actually 30 hours because uh, I was fishing the other night, so I didn't have time to cook them. 
but these will last quite a long time if you just put an aerator in the water they will stay alive a long time and they will expel everything out of them oh these are great absolutely amazing if you can find a spot with like the really really big cockles like this sort of size then you're onto a real winner there because you can get you only need about I don't know, 30 or 40 for a, a decent meal. Mmm. It's highly worth doing. And cockles are one of those things. They're pretty hard to overcook, really. If you literally just put them in the pan till they're open, give them an extra minute, and then take them out. That's perfect. They're not, they don't go chewy or anything like that. If you left them a little bit longer, it doesn't really matter too much. Mmm. That sauce is amazing with all that butter in it. Probably really unhealthy, but well worth it. And always, if you get one that's not open when you cooked it, don't try and prise it open, just discard it. Because it might be a bit funny inside, so you're better off only eating the ones that actually pop open and they're nice and orange inside like these. That's what you want. I oh, always enjoy doing this now and again. Just go down. Really, really easy little day. Just go down, get a rake. Go rake a few cockles. Go see what's around with the old um, the push net. I haven't done that in a very long time. It's lovely to see so many little flatfish around. I was really surprised how many there really was as well. Oh, last one. Oh, that's to die for. So stay tuned for the next episode, guys. I won't leave you watching me eat this delicious meal. That's a beauty. If you want any merch, the link's in the description. This was absolutely delicious. Really simple cooking, but this is, this is what you're going to get in a restaurant, pretty much. Or if not, better. <laughs> so stay tuned. If you like the video, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe. It's Smash Fishing, baby. Woo! Yum. Oh look, there's one. That one hasn't opened. That's the ones that you just discard. You don't bother trying to open them at all. And then just gobble the rest. <laughs>